بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد. Today's video is regarding the Arabic language and the importance of learning the Arabic language. So this is a reminder to myself and you know accountability and that get it on the tubes to hopefully with God's permission bring some benefit to other people because I am approaching fast approaching three years since I took my Shahada in my hometown of Aylesbury in the English county of Buckinghamshire and relatively quickly for the last year I would say there's been a bit of a flat line stagnation I have not been moving forward propelling myself further in the pursuit of knowledge and we all know that ilm ilm knowledge comes in the Arabic language English for the dunya and Arabic for the ahira that is to say this worldly life English is the lingua franca or the lingua franca of the world it's the, it's the the global language is fully accepted the English is the global language but what use is that going to be for you moving forward in your deen with your yakin in your religion and your religious matters and with your certainty of all that that religion contains so it's a reminder to myself because without the pressure without the accountability we us humans we are lazy we rest we chill and we need something a fire burning under us in order for us to move forward and you know not take that path of least resistance that damned path of least resistance and so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin this is why i am currently situated in egypt because this is an arab land it's an on the african continent of course but it is officially the arab republic of egypt where they are speaking a dialect a form of arabic and a lot of people understand the more standardized form of arabic which people will be learning in the madrasa in the masajid so this is why i'm here because we want to be able to taste the sweet taste of the Quran and how can we do that without a grounding in the Arabic language so a reminder for myself and an encouragement to others that by the permission of Allah azza wa jal I will be over the coming months and coming years the essence of this channel anglo islamic gentleman is to dialogue and discuss and tear down the misconceptions and propaganda relating to the religion of al-islam but also to some degree a documentation of my own journey and a kind of accountability vlog i am just another human being just another normal dude who is attempting to break through comfort zones and, and this is what we if we're staying somewhere because it's easy then we must ask ourselves am i growing here am i benefiting here because as we all know life is short and soon we will be dead and what we did with our time whether one is religious or non-religious we can all agree what we did with our time on this earth this great blessing even if one cannot accept the truth and the reality that there is a creator and that we are his creation or their creation if you want to get all gender triggered about the situation we are the creation of the creator and to not live up to this one in trillion billion gazillion opportunity to be amongst those that seek knowledge who do not simply live an easy life but those who contribute to society those that enhance their community 
this is what we've always seen in the history of civilization as someone who was honored and revered somebody who was looked up to and respected was somebody who attempted to challenge the boundaries of of their own mind somebody who kept pushing forward whatever it is whether it is arabic language whether it is the physical body we have so much more than we can give ourselves and to be honest that is to me the prophetic archetype of somebody who dared to push the boundaries of what the people thought was possible you know that is the archetypal hero's journey present in all of hollywood and all of the movies and all of the stories and all of the books is the person who rises up from defeat rocky balboa harry potter whatever like and so you know this is your life alhamdulillah we have this body on loan from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need to utilize it to the best of our ability so this is i'm motivating myself and again this is why i'm doing the videos to remind myself to inspire myself to hold myself accountable and any benefit that comes from for other people then that's by the will of allah so a reminder that the arabic language obviously to anybody who knows anything about islam is of the utmost importance not only to defend the faith and to give effective dawah but to understand yourself like i say to taste the sweet honey you know how you can't describe honey you can say it's sweet but you need to taste it do you know what i mean so people can describe it the issues that come with translation this is always the attacks on islam is some man reading some translation from a hundred years ago it tells you to hit women it tells you to do this what your right hand possesses all this stuff it's like bro do you even know the arabic alphabet do you even have the most basic grounding in the arabic language or are you just speaking basically out of your backside so it's absolutely vital to gauge that foundation and you have to ask yourself if you can study in your home country then this is great this is fine get yourself on a program get yourself moving forward but also consider doing some language courses potentially in an arabic country because you'll also have the benefit of immersion and you will also have the benefit of the cultural dynamic and being able to really experience something new and this is the beauty of life dar al-islam goes all the way from the atlantic ocean all the way to the himalayas <coughs> well, alhamdulillah so this was my quick message that i wanted to bang out for you right now was a reminder to myself over the coming months an exerted effort like never seen before in the next three months by the permission of allah over the next three months i will make leaps and bounds forward i will make more progress in the arabic language in the next three months than i have done in the previous three years so that's quite powerful because that's 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 a 10x that's more than a 10x and a 10x in any context is something that we should be very happy with so alhamdulillah rabbil alameen all praise is due to the creator al khaliq the creator of this world the seen and the unseen the most obvious reality to those who have the blessing and the privilege to be able to accept al haq so anyway this is me done keep it under 10 minutes inshallah i will be back back on the tubes now moving forward got the live stream schedule that will be post on the community chat if you've enjoyed the video then like it and su subscribe and please do comment down below any questions queries you have remember it is a community it is a dialogue and i am looking to bring benefit to the people alongside reminding myself and holding myself uh, accountable 
So much appreciation. Salaamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullah, Wa Barakallah Fikum. And always remember, big up your good selves. Until next time, folks.